I think the the one thing that I've been the most consistent with for years and years has been drinking matcha. And for me, it's just a grounding practice. And I, when I'm like whisking my matcha, I think of like the day that I want to have or like the intention I want to set. And it's kind of like a little habit stack, but it's very, it's not something I have to think about now. It's just something that I do every morning. So like I wake up, I ask myself, how do I feel today? Like what, how am I feeling in my body? And just kind of do like a scan and then making my matcha. And then I try to get some movement in, but every day is different. So I try to meet myself where I'm at and also be mindful of where I'm at in my cycle. I'm not an expert with cycle syncing, but following my cycle and learning more about the different phases has been really, really impactful for me and allowed me to like have a lot more compassion for myself and ease and um, do what I can to kind of work with that. So why matcha? Tell us about the benefits of matcha. Or is it just the intentional like physical routine of just mixing it? I mean, I love the taste of matcha. I also like that it's caffeinated, but it's more of a grounding energy because it doesn't get you as jittery as coffee can be. But I love coffee too. I do not discriminate. I love my cozy drinks. Um, But for me, matcha, I just like crave it in the morning. And I think oftentimes like a morning when you, when you get started in your work day, a lot of the thoughts are like racing in your head. So there's just something about drinking my matcha, sitting at my desk and kind of figuring out what my day looks like. It just makes me feel like literally anything is possible. And so I try to do things in the morning that like if, for example, if I'm trying to brainstorm something, I'll put it on my calendar close to like when I'm drinking my matcha because I'm like super amped up. I'm like, yeah, I can do this. (laughs) Oh, I see. Okay. That brings me to another question is how do you prioritize your tasks every single day? Like what do you have a system and what do you use to like consider, okay, oh, this is the highest priority or this is right. Yeah. So I see like on a day-to-day basis, things are always changing, but I have kind of my North Star for the week or for the month. Um, and I use Notion. I have a template that I created that is based off of my own system that I use with my team. It's called Down to Biz. And so essentially from that, we have like our projects that we're working on. We have, you know, our roadmap of kind of where we're heading for the year. And then from there, we kind of know what initiatives or things that we're working on, like the, um, launching podcast or like any newsletter things, we kind of know what the high level intention is for that week. But then the daily tasks are very fluid. Like for my team, we don't really work on like, this is due on Tuesday. This is due on Wednesday. It's more like, hey, by Friday, like these things should be done. And we kind of keep it a little bit more flexible. Um, And I think that just allows people to be able to work with what, you know, work at their own pace. Um, but it allows us to make sure we're also like moving forward and getting things done. 